Yes, sir. Hi. Yeah, hey. How you doing, sir? Are you Mr. Knudsen? Yes, sir. And you are? Very nice to meet you. Adam Knudsen. Very nice to meet you. This is my dad, Joe Knudsen. Five Knudsen. years Navy. Support. How are you guys doing? So, I've just been talking to Mr. Vasicek. It sounds like the, your, the purpose of your meeting has been accomplished here. Is mm -hmm. there... No, sir, he hasn't even specified the charges that I'm going to be facing tomorrow, what he's going to be specifying before the judge, if that I'm going to be incarcerated, if... You're not uh, going to be incarcerated. Right now, you're pending a competency proceeding. Right? Yes, sir. And I'm so that means that basically everything is on hold until a representative from Western State Hospital conducts a forensic evaluation of you. So we've already had one down in Thurston County that was court ordered by Chad Enright, and that's discoverable. Scott Boer set it up. I went down to Thurston so County Public Defense Office and completed it, sir. So I actually I, recorded it and then have that contested by Dr. Steve Tuddy and Dr. Nuri Khan. You guys will have copies of that that's being transcribed by uh, Christopher Taylor down in Thurston County. I was trying to explain that it was ordered by Kitsap, and this gentleman is telling me that it's completely irrelevant. He wants to hear nothing about Thurston County. I asked him several times to specify what's going to be happening before the judge. He refused, just keeps saying that uh, we're okay. waiting in the company. So, so nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen tomorrow. You're going to get another court date. The, the thing is going to be continued, okay? What I'm trying to articulate is that there's already an appeal in the process for that Thurston County one, and you guys have a copy of Dr. Steve Tuddy's forensic, a truthful forensic, where I sat down and filled out the questions and everything, which never took place with Western Hospital. I'm not doing another Western Hospital evaluation. And you guys will have that evidence from Christopher Taylor to articulate why to the judge, if the judge asks. And that's why I've been asking if you really relayed any of this information to the bench. Because I'm worried tomorrow that the, they might just try and get the judge hyped up and say Adam won't stop doing recordings and RCW violations, which I believe they're in the wrong and a federal court will back me on. But it's, I just want to, I want a fair trial. If you guys believe there's law violation, I want a jury trial. And he won't even specify if he's asked for a jury trial or a change of venue. Until, until a judge finds you competent, you know, you're, you're talking about things that happen after a judge finds you competent. Okay? And there's already a competent so ruling from Dr. Steve Tuddy that you're not submitting to the bench. It's on your guys' office and I'd say the public defense, then doing obstruction of justice. And I'm just asking that my civil rights are honored. The 14th Amendment precludes this abuse. I already did the evaluation, a truthful forensic one, and they just found that I have PTSD. I'm not schizophrenic whatsoever. To put me into Western State and force medicate me as schizophrenic because DA Chat Enright says I hallucinate PIs that follow me, that's that's abuse of law. It's it's a very disgusting thing to do, and I just want my civil rights honor, please. So what's gonna happen tomorrow is your case is gonna be continued. So you guys aren't giving. I don't, I don't no, know how to explain that to you any other way. And I don't know how to ask any other way. Will you guys please submit Dr. Steve Tuddy and Dr. Nuri Khan's reports to the bench? So where the, the judge, I believe, I believe would even dismiss this tomorrow if he had it as evidence. You go, you were a firefighter with the Department of State in 2014. You stayed in Iraq. You stayed behind the withdrawal of the troops. Yeah, you should be able to see your son, you Mr. Kinnison. Do you have a copy of these forensic reports? I do. It's all already been submitted. He has it all in evidence, sir. Do you have did copies you, did of you these? Did email it to me or what? I've, I've asked for the discovery several times when you were actually appointed. In fact, I feel like I need to go over there before 4 o'clock to see when you were actually appointed to the case on the docket. I received no notification as I did with Mr. Boer when he was appointed. I've asked him countless times just to state the evidence that he's presented to the bench. You have been emailed no, that his, stuff. His sir. job is not to present evidence to the bench. You mistake what a defense attorney does, okay? No, when, Prosecutors so, present evidence. And you're mistaking civil law, sir. The 14th Amendment precludes this abuse. There's no law violation. I gave this gentleman evidence to show that Angela Lindsay never served a restraining order. If I was never served, how could there be a law violation? And I need that PI's name, please. Tomorrow, actually on the 9th, will be three years for federal filings. You have three years on statute of limitations and I need that private investigator's name so I can properly do filings against them. Angela Lindsay is committing federal law violations. This is, you guys can't do whistleblower retaliation. I know my civil rights and I'm highly, highly prepared. I'm just asking that they're honored tomorrow. I understand you want to rule me incompetent. I'm saying you guys have 
a diagnosis where it says I do not have schizophrenia. You guys are wasting everyone's time in violating there's rights. A, there's a question that has been raised about your competency. Which Until is fine. Is addressed, it is addressed in that report, sir. An order finding you competent, and you're withholding that, that report from the judge, the sir. Cases. I understand I that. And you're, you you are. So why can't you guys just say that you submitted that report to the, to the judge? Because we have it. <laughs> Thank you. I think we're done here. So that's breach of fiduciary duty. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. We'll send it over. We'll go from there. I'm putting all of those correspondence on uh, social media tonight. It'll be Knudsen 360. And then, regrettably, I, I got to file against your license, sir. This is all your decision. You have been recording this. Huh? Have you been recording this conversation? These are off. Okay. I'm saying all our correspondence that we're on. And even if I was, this is, again, breach of fiduciary duty. We're in public domain. There's... You gotta read the RCWs in Washington State, I guess, to understand them, but you don't. So thank you gentlemen for your time. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I still get the app or uh, the discovery, sir. Your partner said that he'd give me a copy. Can I just wait in this office? <coughs> no, it's subject, it's gonna be have to be subject to redaction. So you won't be getting a copy of Discovery. Oh no, no, I'll wait here for security then. Excuse me, gentlemen. You your partner said that the law library is locked, so we have to have a copy. No, your partner said that you would give. No, wait in the lobby. No, I'll wait here, sir, because then you're not going to give one. You're just going to go to your office and not come out. So I'll stay in this office where you guys promised you would give that discovery. Security, we're familiar with each other. Hey, Dad, just go go ahead and go to the car, please. Just I don't want you to get.